four chicken, four, one to two dozen eggs a week. This all-in-one coop is all you need. No fence required. Nesting boxes, corrugated roof, wire mesh around. One thing this doesn't have is a floor. You know why it doesn't have a floor? Poop falls down. Oh! And we fertilize the ground. Yeah. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we use this to prepare our spring raised bed garden. You could use it in a front yard to establish an instant chicken garden. And I'm gonna give you ideas for how you can build this yourself. Let's start with footage from us going through this process with the raised beds. Let's hope they're still on their perch. You wanna catch chickens at night? It's early morning while they're still on their perch. <laughs> we need two more. I goof that up. Let's just take them into a corner. We'll come back for those when it gets a hair lighter. Brand new chicken tractor. Several modifications. An eye hook on the side that goes actually through a L bracket plate. Same old door option. This is wider than the original design so that it can fit perfectly on the raised bed design. Well, let's hope. Let's hope we made measurements all right. We got my classic next nest box. We don't need to do a swivel now because if you need to sweat block them from getting in, all you do is that. Put a little hay in there. This is self-cleaning. We did put a closed wall on the access, but my coops, you don't have to go inside. You just pull this out, grab the edge. And they manure there all day long, say. Come down here. Then you just move it forward one leaf. This is made of cedar, so it should be pretty light. Cedar doesn't rot, it's non-toxic. We put decking on the bottom. So it slides super easy and it protects your wood from getting rotten. This is cover crop. This isn't grass. This is this is actually the plan. We're gonna cross our fingers that this fits. I'm afraid it's too wide. So close. It looks like this tip should have been flush. I think it's gonna fit, right? It's funny, you you made this bigger. I made this smaller. That's what you did. Yeah. You built both systems, but you had the thought, I need to make these work together better. Yeah. You made the beds to fit the tractor, right. the, the original tractor. I made the, the the tractor fit the beds. I did that because these beds are nice four by eight. So they're encouraged to till. We want them to till up this cover crop. Yeah, it calls for 95. Look for 96. Now it's going to inch off and let's see if it works. Cross our fingers. Thing fits. Supposed to be flush with the tractor. It fits. Let's go get the hens. Four if you're not letting them out during the day. Twelve if they are getting out. So we're gonna max it out with four. Get this chill job done and we'll the two. Already going at it. They're like, hmm, I remember this green stuff. Lily, you want to go get some hay? That can mean they're about to lay eggs or have laid eggs and they're proud of it. There's two people in the nest. One wanting to be in there. There's three in the nest box. Nobody's laid in there yet. Somebody's probably about to lay right there. Breakfast being laid right outside my door. How'd they fare last night? They've already gotten so much work done. Is that one of these chickens? Yeah, yeah, Henry actually left the door open a little bit. Okay, well let's catch that chicken. <laughs> one day, look how they've decimated that. This doesn't have to be on a raised bed. You could put it in your yard and you could use it to create an instant chicken garden. Here's how to do it. This is an amazing chicken tractor. Perfect size for a garden bed, 40 inches by eight feet. It's not too wide to where you can't reach over. It's not too big to where you can't move it. We got a waterer, lift it off the ground. So they can till, we're gonna feed Jonah fit it right on the ground so they'll be encouraged to till. All right, that's all we need. They have to be friends. Let them be here for two weeks. <laughs> we're gonna need food scraps. We're gonna need rakes. Rod fork right where it's supposed to be. Let's see what you guys have done. Well, let's move you out and see what you've done. First step. Chickens out. Look at the job they've done, guys. We're raking it to spread the manure out. See how there's a lot of manure right there? Getting the fresh green grass. Already starting the till job. This is after, this is before. Let me just stir it up a little bit. Who wants to help Broad Fork? Let's start at the end. Okay, you jump on. Whoa! Ugh. Since we have an acidic soil, we can just put a little bit of a lime, a little bit of lime, not much, scraps. 
Why aren't we putting down food scraps, food for the worms? Now, we've actually harvested compost out of our compost corner up there in our yard. Chickens on, on deep bedding, on, on wood chips, eventually turn it into compost. That took no time. Four inches, Beauty's gone to get the measuring tape just to make sure we get this right. Just to prevent weeds from going up. We could totally put wood chips on top of this. Now you need four inches of mulch. Actually our next step would be to wet this down. Start the breaking down process. Here, do like, yeah, hold your thumb on it. Now wet down the paper. That will weigh it down, one, until we can get grass clippings on it, and two, it'll start the breaking down process. Look at what the chickens have done. They have not only tilled, but, holy chicken squat. Time to plant, Lily. Oh my word. Mega, mega impressed. That's a bowl of goodness right there. Say you wanna build this yourself. Well, we've perfected this over eight years and we are coming out with a new book, Homestead Builds, where we will have these plans. But here are the basics of it. Eight feet long, measured to fit exactly on our raised bed. It's also a good length of a garden bed if you were to use it for that. Notice I covered it three quarters. It only needs to be two feet tall. I mean, chickens are only this tall. It does have the optional door. I've put a feed pan upside down to keep this water clean while they till. They're prepping my cover crop. Three parches so 12 birds could fit comfortably in there. This is cedar wood, two by fours, ripped in half. So all these are two by twos. We used half inch wire mesh. Sturdy too, it's not the poultry wire stuff. You also wanna make sure you have your lid clipped. We can open this. You don't have to get in there to clean up any poop though. Corrugated roof panels, white, it, you don't want your chickens to get too hot. We do have eye bolts at every corner so that we can hook our cable and pull this thing. This is a new design. A lot of people wanted the door to this. You don't have to have the door. These, these nest crates are on a brace. We've got a landing bar in there. This has become more simple. We used to have a swivel bar for their landing bar. Just so, hey, what if somebody's making a bad habit and they're perching in the nest at night and pooping? But then we realized, somebody was like, hey, you know you could just turn these sideways? And you do that for a couple weeks and they're trained not to go in there. Not an extra thing on it, super easy to build. Plastic decking on the bottom to protect the wood, but also so it will skid nicely on your grass. I will say a note to the wood, this is cedar. It smells so good when it's brand new. Well, the kids had the idea to put some sheep on it first to speed up the process even egg. more. Did you get any eggs? We did last night. Did you get it out? No, because I just want it on camera. Yeah, collecting eggs always works better with a camera. This isn't a very sustainable system for just a part. Um, what do you mean? Well, Why? you can't feed sheep off of seven race beds. No, but then you could put them around in the yard. Sheep would be great at the any homestead level. Oh well, yeah, if you had over this an acre. one reason. Pick so that up, Josiah. Cut it there. Do you want to zip tie it first or cut it first? Cut it, first. cut it, cut it, cut it here, Josiah. You got goggles? Ready, Jonah? Uh, you should not be there Josiah. if he's cutting like that. Why don't we build it in the yard and just stick it on there? Well, it's just easier to build it right there. There's not room here. Lily, go get two little lambs. This is ready. We have this trellis here, so we kind of built it more for the other ones, but we don't have the trellis. There you go. But will they eat the grass? Oh yeah. We had those beds covered all winter. Permaculture says try and use plants and animals to do the work of the farm. Plant covered the soil. Now the animals will remove that cover crop. Also serves as food. We're getting the teenager sheep. Well, it's time to wean the little ones. Teenager sheep are weaned and they know how to eat grass. I think they're kind of big. They've eaten grass before. All right. Can you carry one just side and I carry yeah. the other? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? You think so? Yeah. Is this a teenager, Lily? Yes. Yeah. I got this one. <laughs> all we had to do was put up a little pig panel. Got a little bucket of water. They got all their food for a while. <laughs> May not be working. I don't think they are eating. Are they eating? I gotta check the time on. No. Give them a few more hours. You guys gotta eat. Wait for it. Nope. Please start eating. I guess if it doesn't work. We have the ever faithful chicken who will till no matter what. It's going into the third day. How are you tireless workers doing? They're way more comfortable. Look at that black soil underneath that grass. Yeah, you are gonna need a week or two, aren't you? It's amazing how little poor little chickens drink. Eggs yet? Not yet. Get out of there. This cat, no. No, you don't do that. No. No, that's our garden. This is probably a good deal. You guys got a chicken out this afternoon? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> End 
into day three. They've worn out and eaten probably what they're gonna eat, but now it's up to you guys to scratch it all in. There's a pretty heavy clump right there. The chickens have totally done their job. So we're gonna move them, and then maybe we'll move, I don't know if this is gonna work with the pergola. Maybe it will. Don't let them out, Lily. Can you spot him to not let them out? One of my favorite things right here. Chickens lived and worked in here all last year. It's the end of the winter, so they're gonna be coming out soon. That's just some compost. Let's call this the compost corn. We have the chickens on deep bedding. It absorbs their manure, and then we come in and get the wood chips off the top. You see what we're revealing? Real good sign. Lots of worms. After the chickens leave, they don't get everything. Chickens, next year garden. We're pulling out these roots, and they don't have to go to waste. All the yard waste, all the garden waste goes into the compost corn. There you go. What do you think we need? A load or two? One load, maybe? We want a little layer of compost everywhere. Nice. That's a good sign, bro. I think these chickens must have been shy or something coming straight out of the greenhouse because they're already like a quarter of the way done with this job. We're almost done. I love your enthusiasm. I want to do I it. I could five, just do it faster, six. but he is excited about it. You don't have to do this next step. You could plant your plants directly in this and go. Do the square foot gardening method. If you have the time, two weeks, Ish. Those chickens would have stirred up the weed seeds, covering it with a silage tart. This is a UV treated silage tart. Blocks any sunlight from getting in there and it will, those, those weeds have been stirred and they're gonna wanna grow. This will totally kill it. You know what many of you might be thinking? How much does that cost? That's a good question. Well, we just built that as we're working on this book. Let's get on the calculations in just one second. But first, what it's all about. Half a pack of bacon. This is my signature chicken and eggs. I've been perfecting that chicken tractor design for over eight years. I've, I've perfected about 24 different homestead builds. We get this frying up. That'll be our oil for our eggs that come later. Look at this abundance. I mean, look at this abundance. If that isn't enough, do we really? We have a whole basket here. It's springtime. We're gonna sear a lamb. My designs have been one of my most popular works, like the famous chig shawl. I've had plans available, but I thought, let's do it up really good. I got Chris Slattery from Polyface Design. Ready for the eggs? There are the eggs. Coops are pretty essential to the homestead, to the chicken Very essential. I don't think we need to add butter. It's, that's why we do the, that's one reason we do the bacon. The Homesteadbuilds.com. Get the exclusive updates on this project. Get the free Chickshaw 5.0 plan. Info on that down in the description. Go to homesteadbuilds.com. It looks like it's not sticking or it's kind of not. I guess it would have been better to put a little bit of butter in there. You're right. I'm sorry. Let's try this. Do you want to try it? We eat it every morning. Bacon and eggs. Never gets old. This morning we had it with peppers and onions. What about cheese? You could add cheese. I did add cheese. As for cost, well, first of all, look at this. Look at this. This is going to be so legit. Look at this cut list. This is coming. This is. These are not done. It's coming very soon. And the digital version will have all the links to all this on Lowe's and Amazon. So you guys ready for this? Now, it's it's more than when I first built this back in 2016. Let's say you don't have one three inch screw, because a lot of us, we had to buy like 300 screws. You don't need 300 screws. You're at 568.24, and that's having to ship some stuff. Amazon, as I say, you don't have a waterer, you need a crate, you need a hose say you don't have a scrap hose laying around. Guys, this is you not slapping together anything, which is probably gonna be rare, but 132.81 is 132.81. So let's add those up. Boom, $701.05. Chances are you have something and you're gonna get this under than $700. I've seen people build this out of scrap and build it for less than $100. So you can be creative. Now you'll have a base, homesteadbuilds.com. Do check it out, do get it on this exclusive be the first to get this thing. It's an amazing build.